everyone, my name is Soli and today, for the first time, I am introducing you to an artist I actually seen live. It was a while ago, it was in December 2019, then Covid happened and I could unfortunately not catch her live again, but I'm really crossing fingers for the near future. If you do not follow this YouTube channel, please do so, it is free and I introduce you to new artists every single Monday and I also listen to an album every single Friday. I am also live every single day on Twitch, I do some singing, I do some games, if you want to check it out please do so now let's jump right into it why you should listen to Luz and the Yakuza. Luz and the Yakuza is an artist that is really, really dear to my heart. I, and I discovered her, I think, a while ago with her song Dilem, but I'm not sure. But I know that I immediately got into her world and her uniqueness. I will be honest, I don't usually listen to songs, especially in French, with this kind of genre, R&B, trap, hip-hop. Even if I do enjoy these genres, with her work, she has really a different sound, a different way to approach different themes that are dear to her and I really really appreciate that. Luz is the anagram of Soul and Yakuza represents her team of collaborators. Her real name is Marie Piera Kukama and she is a Congolese Belgium singer, rapper, songwriter, model and artist. She does a lot and she does everything so amazingly. She was born in 1996 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo from a Congolese father and a Rwandan mother. They were both doctors. Important information for later. She is currently signed at Columbia Records in the States via Sony Music in France. And she also currently has 800,000 monthly listeners on Spotify and 160,000 subscribers on YouTube. She gained a bit recently with what she did and her new album that came out in 2022. And I'm so happy to see it because she was stuck between this 50k and 100k on YouTube. And I was so sad to see that such an artist, amazing artist with such uniqueness and her proper world was just not yet known enough. Let's first talk about her most known work. First, as I said before, Dilem came out as a single in 2019 before getting into her first album in 2020 called Gar. I filmed with it. It's an amazing song start to finish and it's such a good song to start her discography with as Loose and the Yakuza. By making this song her first song as Loose and the Yakuza, I think it's really a message to say I'm here, listen to who I am and what I have to say. Si jamais je freine et que je ne fais plus de scène Laissez-moi à l'arrière pour qu'à la source je me baigne Ma blessure saigne et le sang monte à la tête Je reste la même et ce quoi qu'il advienne Au plus j'ai la haine, au plus ils me font de la peine Ma peau n'est pas noire, elle est couleur ébène Douce et tu sereine, où fais-tu juste la guerre Tu n'es pas parfaite, ton erreur reste humaine Seul Seul, seul, je veux être seul. Si je pouvais, je vivrais seul, loin des problèmes et des dilemmes. Na, 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 na. Si je pouvais, je vivrais seul, loin de mes chaînes et des gens que j'aime. Na, 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 na. The next song is called Je ne sais pas, I don't know in English, featuring the Italian artist Sefra e Basta. This is not really my favorite song, but I really understand why it's people's favorite song. It just has a good flow with song in Italian and in French. It's lovely, the voices are really, really well matched together. It's a funny information, but for some reason, Loops got very popular in Italy, for some reason. And she did a lot of collaboration with some Italian artists. She did a lot of concert in Italy as well. I do not have the lore behind it, but her music just got known in Italy. It's random and we love it. <laughs> Recently, in 2023, Luz featured with the artist Arlo Parks that I didn't know before, but after listening to these songs, 
I'm definitely checking them out with two songs, Jasmine and I'm Sorry. The latest song is amazing. I keep listening to it just so, so much recently. It's crazy. It's so well done. It's in French and in English. And you have this like cool response that I really love. For example, Arlo Parks is gonna say I'm sorry in English and then Luce is gonna answer in French saying Je suis désolé, I'm sorry as well. And this cool and response is really, really well done. It's really well written. The vibes are so chill. It's such a good song and I really like the lyrics as well it's just really really well done you can hear it's a song made by musicians Just as a disclaimer, I know it's quite kind of late in the video to do a disclaimer, but this video will probably be a bit longer because I have so many good songs I want to introduce you to and I won't be able to introduce you to all the songs I really, really freaking love. But keep that in mind, it will be a bit longer than usually. The next song is called Amigo from her first album Gore. It talks about competition and jealousy. To me, I understand it as people trying to put you down, pretending to be your friends just to betray you in the back and to ruin you. It's a very interesting song that I always sing along to. It's so catchy. I love how she takes words from different languages and make something so great with her melodies. And also, I really, really like her music videos. This one of Amigo, obviously, but just her music videos in general. They're really well directed and really, really well made. <laughs> Il pénètre ton esprit et doucement te murmure Lâche-toi, laisse-moi, lèche ça Et tu plonges la tête la première dans le vice Et ça évolue de pire en pire Oublions tout, oublions-nous La vie nous a rendu fous Solo introduce you to another French speaking artist called Solan and if obviously I cannot compare Solan and Luz because their worlds are so different but they have a world they have something so proper to themselves they really have an identity proper to them it's always a pleasure to see that I could introduce you to different artists from different parts of the world with different stories and if you take the time to listen to them I am telling you you won't regret it the next song is called Bon Acteur which means good actor also talking about betrayal just like Amigo but more in a romantic relationship being in love with someone and this other person pretending to be also in love Lou's voice is just so strong and also soft it's just full sometimes of anger and then it can be full of sadness and regret and I think one of her strongest points is really to be able to give her precise emotions in her melodies and her voice she has something that is so special and so unique and I keep saying the same thing, but I love it. Enfin, je me mets à fixer le vie. Je pense à comment t'aimais pas vraiment rire. C'est du pain aux égaux respectifs, sans devenir maladie. Ton parfum était un mélange de sucre et de sel. Une senteur unique et chamelée de moiselle. J'ai cru que ta peau était seulement la mienne. Autant nos corps ne font plus trop d'étincelles. Jure sur ma vie et sur celle de ma mère. À part toi, je ne pense à personne à laver. Ce vie, moi, je ne veux plus me prendre la tête. À deux, on peut faire la huitième merveille. Dis-moi quelque chose que je ne sais pas. Quelque chose qui est en toi avant que tu partes. Regarde en toi, s'il n'y reste pas juste un peu de moi. Tu es très bon acteur, mais moi je cherche ton moteur. Dis-moi que je suis à la hauteur de toi, accro à ton auteur et ta voix. 
Solo is also one of her most known songs. I always sing along to it and vibe to it, even if it's in reality quite of a sad song. It talks about the war that black people have to go through every single day to be heard or to just exist in the eyes of a society that want to silence them and leave them alone. With the title, makes sense, Solo, alone, you got it. In a post Instagram that really, really touched me because it's something I was not aware at all about her, Luz talks about the fact that she got diagnosed with MS, which is multiple sclerosis, I will put your little description over there and she lost her ability to walk in beginning of 2023 staying in a wheelchair for three months before getting diagnosed she came down to paris to see a famous neurologic hoping to find answers and after looking at the scans of her brain this doctor but i will more say fucking asshole said i have a good news for you you are a black woman but you have a brain and i think you have multiple sclerosis in her Instagram post, she says that she was completely speechless. I can't imagine going to try and search solution because you are in pain, you are in a very bad situation, and you just confronted to just such basic stupid racism and you just trying to understand what's wrong with you so yeah even for me it's a really important song as a white person so i can not even imagine how important it could be to someone of color or anyone that can really find their story and find themselves in the lyrics comment faire pour ne jamais leur rendre l'appareil personne ne peut voir à travers les liens fraternels certains continuent à nous voir comme leurs adversaires Pourquoi le noir n'est-il pas une couleur de l'arc-en-ciel Que Dieu m'éloigne du chemin de la vengeance Le rendre dans la paresse c'est tente Toi je criais pour qu'on entre 6-0 années de l'indépendance Que Dieu m'éloigne du chemin de la vengeance Le rendre dans la paresse c'est tente Toi je criais pour qu'on entre 6-0 années de l'indépendance Parle, allez, dis-moi ce qui te gêne Je sens ton regard et ton cœur qui se gèle Parle, allez, dis-moi ce qui te gêne Je sens ton regard et ton cœur qui se gèle Quoi que l'on dise, on restera solo Quoi que l'on fasse, on restera solo Solo, 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 solo I told you before that both of Luz's parents were doctors and I didn't give you this information for nothing. When Luz decided to pursue music because it was her dream of being an artist, her parents literally removed her heritage and she ended up being homeless and having to fight to get back on her feet. She did modeling, she got known in the underground music scene in Belgium and after a long search and a lot of difficulties, she finally found her producer, El Show, which produced artists like Rosalia and the song Malam which is an amazing song. Today she had the opportunity to perform at the tonight show of Jimmy Fallon participating in a runaway for Louis Vuitton. She also made the cover for Vogue France. So to me she's really a symbol of power. The fact that she's so strong. She got herself out of a situation that is so difficult. This is so respectable. Her story is so respectable and you really have to listen to her because she has things to give us and we have to give back. Let me introduce you now to five more songs, but this time less known songs that I also really, really love. The first one is called Kise, and I didn't know before making this video, but the title plays on the very similar sounds in French with Kise, who is it, and Kise, who knows, which now I'm noticing is literally the same sound. It's not similar, it's literally the same sound. <laughs> who am I? Am I even French? It talks about the relationship being doomed from the beginning. This song is from the album Yota that came out in 2022. It means a very small portion or amount. T'étais faute déjà bien avant tout ça. C'était pas ta faute, mais c'était celle des autres. J'aurais dû t'aider à soigner tes mots. On finira de haut comme Missaria. Je changerai pas quitter même si j'ai le choix. The next song is called Interpol, which is the world's largest international police organization also didn't know before making this video and it talks about loneliness and the feeling of not being good enough <laughs> Mais ça 
sentiments sont des instruments de torture quand mon ami me manque de suspicion en allusion ces illusions ont brûlé devant et maintenant que les gens changent In the same album again, because I really like this album, we have Monsters, which is an amazing song that talks about her demons and the fact that we have to go through our life with everything we went through and with all our problems, the fact that we don't know if we're gonna solve them, we don't know what's gonna happen. It's a song that really, really gets stuck in your head. The melody is really so freaking catchy. Like, this is such a good melody. The music video is on point as well, but the melody, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Et s'ils sont tous autour de moi, c'est que je leur parle un peu tous doucement. Parfois les autres mots autour de moi font changer de tempérament. Si je rigole, ils rigolent à mon sens et on chante et on chante et on chante. Si je m'énerve, ils s'énervent même quand je recule, ils vont de l'avant. Let's go back to the start with her first album that came out in 2020 with Core and the song Telephone Son, Phones Ringing, which is so good and definitely one of my favorites from us as well. You have amazing lines like, I don't know how to close my eyes anymore, I live my dream so I don't sleep. It sounds better in French to be honest, but it sounds good in English as well. It's so catchy and well written and I listen to it so much that I think it's just tattooed in my veins now. Que quelqu'un m'attrape avant que je m'en aille Que quelqu'un m'attrape avant que je m'en aille Je ne sais plus fermer les yeux Je vis mon rêve alors je ne tarde pas mmh, mmh. De peur ne pas exaucer mes voeux Je crie mes puits et manque de tarde. what the symbol on her forehead means and it's a symbol that she created herself and she called it les mains levées vers le ciel which in english translates to hands lifted toward the sky and it represents two arms connected to the earth and sky unfortunately this is already the last song for today but this is an amazing song we're ending this video on it's called 4 heures du matin which translates to 4 a.m and it's a very very powerful song it talks about a woman trying to find her way very late at night when she gets sexually harassed by some guys in the first verse Luz talks and sings in the point of view of the woman and in the second verse she talks in the point of view of one of the guy i remember hearing this song live before it was even out because the album came out in 2020 and i i, I saw her on stage in December. 2019 and I got so hypnotized how she sang it with so much power so much anger so much sadness and and fear and unfortunately so much truth also I have a, a photo of me after the concert we could not film anything but it was one of the best concerts I've ever went to she was literally so amazing she had this kindness and this smile that we, I will never forget but talking about this song uh, it's one of my favorite songs it's a very hard song to listen to if you speak French very good song nonetheless very well written 4 heures du matin une jolie fille cherchait son chemin dans sa belle robe de satin elle m'excitait je n'y pouvais rien j'ai vite appelé martin on allait la souiller avec nos vieux machins elle qui joue si bien à la sainte on va la foutre enceinte que vont-ils faire de moi que je fais de moi que vont-ils faire de moi que je fais de moi les diables n'ont pas de couleur la chaise sont venus à plusieurs je n'ai pas vu mes agresseurs je me souviens je I 
I could talk about so much more things, maybe the fact that she loved Japan and manga and that her music and her art in general is really, really inspired by Japanese culture or how much she loves fashion or how great she is of a painter. She paints a lot, she's an amazing artist. And I could also talk about songs I really love, like Mesbas that I struggled singing along to the first time I heard it live because it was not out yet and she told us what was in the chorus and we had to sing with her and I was struggling so much and now when I listen to it I keep thinking about this moment of me not remembering the lyrics. I could also talk about Tutega which is such a well-written song or Hiroshima la money but i would have to make such a long video and i think this video is long enough and i think i talked way too fast in this and i'm probably gonna struggle with the editing because i didn't articulate enough that's my life it's fine i get that loose and the yakuza is definitely a symbol of power of being strong but also a symbol of it's okay to be sad it's okay to have weak moments and to struggle in life and i think she's just an amazing artist overall and in just so many aspects of her life with an amazing amazing smile and amazing love, amazing pen, talent and obviously hard work. She makes art and she makes herself heard, she fights for her and for what she believes in and she's an example as a human. She's my role model, really. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really really enjoyed it. I love talking about artists that speak French and that I feel very connected to. I'm just proud of being able to introduce you to very very great people and I really hope I can catch her live very soon, at least maybe this year, next year, one day if I can and catch her at a private concert or in a festival it's it would be so lovely so yes thank you for watching until the end please check her out she is amazing and she will definitely be a big artist in the future so crossing my fingers so i can watch her live before she gets too famous <laughs> and yeah you can follow this youtube channel for more artists i'm also live every single day on twitch we do some singing some gaming we have a lot of fun we do a lot of talking about anything in general it's very free over there so if you want to hang out you can follow twitch as well Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. It was so lovely to be with everyone. I'll see you. Bye bye. Quoi que l'on dise, on restera solo.